Here at Red Bank Valley, head coach Ed Wazolowski. Ed, who do you have with you here? Uh, to my right is Keaton Kale, senior, and to my left is senior Blaney Brooks. Ed, you guys didn't lose a whole lot from last year. I mean, one big player, obviously, well, a couple of big players that you lost from last year, but um, do you feel pretty good going into the season with where you guys are at? Uh, obviously, when you only lose three seniors from last year's team, they were great uh, seniors and they were big losses. But, uh, you know, that means we have eight guys coming back on both sides of the football that uh, started for us, and we have a lot of guys besides that that played. So, uh, one big plus, obviously, for us this year is our experience. Uh, Keaton, how comfortable are you now as a senior in the offense and everything that's going on? Um, I feel way more confident this year. Um, you know, Clint Thurston last year carried a lot for me, and even Brock carried a lot for me. So, you know, losing both those guys, um, I mean, this is, you know, my year to be the leader and, you know, carry the team with, you know, not having those two guys to carry as much, you know, as what we did. So I feel that this year, you know, this is, you know, this is my time to do that. Clint Thurston's not a guy that you maybe replace with one guy. How are you guys going to handle that, those, the, the things that he brought to the table for you last year? Well, we have Clint's running mate back from last year, Hunter Wiles. And uh, like you said, Clint was once in a generation player, uh, excellent on both sides of the football. But uh, Hunter will be more than capable of stepping in and, and taking that role. Uh, also back this year is Travis Crawford. So when we go two back, uh, our two back offense, we call it our ponies. We have two experienced kids who uh, can really uh, run the football, and they know their assignments, and I have complete confidence in both of them. Maybe beyond what he brought to the offensive table, how do you replace or can you replace what he brought to special teams? No, uh, he was a seven-time uh, kicker, four-time punter, and three-time uh, you know, kickoff guy, extra point guy. So. Uh, we're just we're scrambling now. Blaney's going to be our punter, and uh, as he develops consistency, he definitely has the leg, and he gets off some real nice punts, but he's very inconsistent. But I'm confident by the time the first game rolls around, he'll be ready. Uh, as far as the kickoff, uh, we have, a, believe it or not, a freshman who has a, a really nice leg, and uh, maybe on the extra points, we'll be going for two every time. <laughs> um, Blaney, defensively, what do you guys have to do to be successful? Uh, we just got to be tough up front. Not let the offense prop open any doors. Uh, linebackers got to be strong, and the, the linebackers always make the D linemen right. So as long as D line D linemen do what we need to do, everything should be sound. We got some pretty nice D backs, looking it's look looking like a pretty good defense. You guys gonna be an aggressive defense, more of a sit back and just try to tackle defense. What do you really hope to be defensively, Ed? Uh, over the years, we're not a blitzing team. I, I really don't believe in it. Uh, we tell the kids the defense blitzes, somebody's band's going to be playing. It's either going to be the defense's band because they made a great defensive play or the offense because they left the defense by blitzing, left over, open a, weak, a weakness, and the offenses, uh, offense exploited it. So we just try to play sound defense. We're a one-gap defense. If every all eight men on the front do their job, uh, as Blaney just said, our D-backs, are we're pretty confident in them. So we're going to play an eight-man front and try to stop the run first and uh, let it up to our D-backs to, to clean up the pass. But uh, I, I think I'm, as high school defense has gone, pretty conservative. Uh, the new conference, talk about that a little bit. Um, are you excited to be playing some new people, maybe some schools more your size? It's definitely bittersweet. We've been after a D9 single-A league for a long time. Uh, there was always some roadblock here and there, but now we got it. So uh, we got what we wished for. But uh, the, the, the bitter part of it is not playing long-time rivals like Clarion and uh, Carn City and, and teams like that. Uh, but it's nice to be playing you know, schools our size week in and week out. The last couple of years, the D for us, the single-way league was decided like the, by the third or fourth game, and then you're playing what amounted to exhibition games the, the rest of the way. So that's going to be a, a big change. Every game will be meaningful throughout the season. Blaney, from your perspective as a player, are you excited about maybe seeing some different people going to some different venues? Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a little strange because – it was nice last year. You knew a lot of the kids on the other teams because you were friends with kids from the other schools. And these new schools, you don't really know anybody from them. And I, I've never been to any of these schools, so it's going to be, it's going to be interesting to see what their setups like and all the kids on their team. Keaton, your your thoughts on it? I mean, I know you know a lot of these kids from from track and field mm -hmm. uh, and stuff, but 
what, what's your thought about maybe getting to see like an Elk County, a Kerwinsville? I, I know you saw them in the playoffs a couple mm -hmm. of times, but you know, and then some of the teams from up north. Yeah, it's it's definitely gonna be a, a new challenge and um, different, but. Um, no matter you know who we play, you know we're not gonna come in here and you know change our scheme. You know, we come in every, like every game the same, and we're gonna attack the weakness. And um, you know we're we're ready to see what you know these guys you know what the what they can do.